So our last form of wellness can be seen in the way of social wellness, or social well-being, I might correct myself to. Social well-being, in my personal words, means to take care of others. Now, I don't necessarily mean take care of others as in, like, uh, go over and take them soup if they're not feeling well. No, I mean take care of others as in be kind, be social, be present. So, when you communicate in a healthy way, that might mean talking to them nicely. Tell somebody how you feel. Don't just bottle up all of your emotions here. Express how you feel. Talk about your feelings. Now, on the other side of that, you need to make sure that you're listening. And not just like, oh, I hear what you're saying. I mean, listening, listening. Figure out how somebody feels. Why do they think that? Why? What's, what's going on with them to where they think the way that they do? If somebody has an issue and they're trying to give you feedback, you need to accept the feedback. You need to listen to what they're, what they're saying. Um, that might mean uh, just talking back to them and making sure that you clarify. Um, there's, an act, there's an actual process called active listening where you repeat what they're saying um, and you make sure that you're on the same wavelength. And that's why sometimes having face-to-face -face conversations as opposed to on the phone or texting conversations are a little bit easier because you can read somebody's face, you can read somebody's non-verbal way that they're talking. You can also just get along with others. It's, it's easy. It might not be that easy um, to you because we all are different. Um, there's always criticism. Uh, everybody has their opinion on everything, and that's okay. Everyone's allowed to have a different opinion. So in, in life today, there's too much conflict, and we don't have con good conflict resolution tactics in the country. Um, I know politics are such a big conversation right now. Um, and everyone has their side, everyone has their side, but nobody listens to each other. And so there's no real conflict resolution, and we don't really get along all that well. So my challenge to you is to practice getting along with others. I know right now we're trapped with our family right now, oh geez, terrible. But we can practice these skills with our family, just being kind, getting along, doing our best to build relationships instead of destroy them. And we have to be present. Be present and be kind in our daily lives. So, I know for me, whenever I go to hang out with my friends, we might go to a restaurant or something, and I might have a friend, they'll sit there and he'll just text the entire time. And while that's fine, I don't mind if you talk to your friends on social media. I think it's a very good thing to do, but why am I here if you're just gonna ignore me the entire time? Being present means being there and not just, okay, my body is here. It's not, not your body just being there, it's your brain also being there. So I know later on in this video I'll talk about how uh, these all kind of blend together, but social wellness, or social well-being is kind of like the cross between these. It's taking, is your, your body being there and your brain being there at the same time. So that's just something to focus on. Um, but it's important because today there's two different types of people. There's introverts and there's extroverts, and we're all different. An introvert is somebody who they decompress much better by being by themselves, hanging out, just relaxing by themselves, watching Netflix for a little bit to decompress. An extrovert is somebody who enjoys being out in public, uh, is, uh, they get energy from being with others. Um, an introvert gets energy by being by themselves. And neither one is better, it's perfectly fine, but we need to find a very healthy blend of both so that we can be kind to others and being kind to ourselves.